Reed, my husband, my partner, my best friend, and creative soul extraordinaire made this project fly. It was a thrill for us to see all the parts mesh together to create something special. Yeah, this is classic. <laughs> Okay, you may have noticed bandages all over my hands in some shots. This project had all kinds of challenges, none worse than me having Lyme disease from a tick bite. We terminated our first shoot so I could go to the hospital where they put me on antibiotics. That made me super sensitive to the sun. My hands fried and shriveled up, but we had to keep shooting. My neck and chin were pretty bad too. I didn't know Neil was shooting, so I just pulled up my bandana like a bandit and paddled away and ruined a beautiful shot. Just ignore us, Becky. We shot all the underwater photography in one day with a board camera, redevised ways to attach it to the canoe, and had to make a flat lens out of plexiglass. He cut it with a saw and he puttied it onto the camera, and it was amazing. Don't. Hopefully the owner doesn't see that. The fish may have been the stars of the movie, but they were a bit of a pain. They followed my canoe around and they got in the way of the shots. We, we lost a lot of shots because their little eyeballs were looking into the camera lens. It was kind of, kind of cool. But, um, and I couldn't judge the depth. Don't. <laughs> really, I don't hate fish. What were you thinking? You're so mean. I am not. Those are our extras. <laughs> Becky seemed to think that every famous movie star needs a handler, so we got Phil Weir to, to help us out just to get Becky going on some of these shots where we had the perfect camera angle, but she couldn't get up to speed fast enough, so he was more like a wrangler than a handler. He was great. <laughs> Every once in a while, poor Becky would just would just lose her focus completely. And I don't know if it was the Lyme disease or just the heat of the sun, but, but she'd just run into something, and it's just so out of character for her. Like this time, this was great. <laughs> I'm just trying my best to get as close to the camera as possible, and they encourage me, come on, go, just miss it by a hair. And I'm going, okay. I'm going to miss it by a hair, and I'm going to keep myself very focused. Nice and calm. Look so calm. Ken huh? saying closer. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, yeah, nice and calm. And I'm thinking to myself, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hit, but I was so close. Yeah, but we fixed it this time, right? Yeah, we did. I uh, got Reed to catch me. Well, that didn't work too well because I'm going so fast. <laughs> This is uh, the inlet to Lac Vert. It's a beautiful swamp that goes on for quite a while, and then you come to this narrowing. And it's so beautiful. Um, when you round that corner, uh, you come to the beautiful, beautiful emerald green water that has about 90 feet of uh, visibility. And you can see these huge fish. And uh, there's some snappers that hang out in the water. And lots of campers. And lots of campers. It's a, it was unbelievable how many people were there. It's become really popular. It's amazing that more shots weren't ruined. So this is just one of those times where I saw them coming and I thought, well, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, join our movie. <laughs> cut. cut, cut. You don't like two canoes in a... Oh. Yeah, well, we'll try again. We, we really didn't do too many close-ups of Becky. She really didn't want us to, but, but this one was pretty good. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Tilt, don't turn. Take a deep breath and relax, Beck. It doesn't matter. We'll just cut it. Don't smile. <laughs> don't smile. <laughs> All right, here comes the shakeout. Poor Becky. I know it was a hot day and it probably felt really good for you to get wet, but man, she did this shakeout about 10 times this day. Oh, she was so tired, eh? It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> oh, I was just exhausted. That's a really heavy canoe thing. I, I'm, I'm rolling, so... Camera, action! I just need a rest. Okay. Cut. I really did spend this all is afternoon... Probably, this is probably the fourth time. At <laughs> least. <laughs> it's getting really dry. Oh. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> My dad was much better at this than I am. Oh, you're so oh. tired. This is about after three hours. 
It was a really hot day too. So it felt really good to be in the water. <laughs> Almost done. Oh yeah, there goes your paddle. Oh. Don't forget your paddle. No, don't I want to did, wreck the varnish. I, I did oh, have it in the canoe. That's a great technique. But the thing, all afternoon shaking with the paddle, bonking in the nose, and just took it out. I shouldn't have done that. Safety first. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Uh, go get your pal. <laughs> what is silly? All you kids out there, leave your paddle in your canoe. Yes. And when you're getting in. <laughs> <laughs> I was so tired by then. Oh man. Oh. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's a tape. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe I sunk the canoe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start again. What a dose. And I knew I was going to have to do another shake out. <laughs> Come over here. Don't you do No. Poor you. Not poor me. It was a lovely day. But you got back in more gracefully, kind of. And there you go, paddling away. Good job. It was fun. It's fun on reflection. <laughs>